every time I come back, I learn more for my own practice and uh, learn more about what we need to do to continue educating investigators and clinicians. I think that there's no better place to be than in here trying to learn about type 1 diabetes. Sitting in a room with all those co-fellows, also listening to leaders in the field is a really big deal, and so I'm, I'm learning a lot. One of the neatest things about being a brand new first year pediatric endocrinology fellow is the acceptance and warmth from the Endocrine Society and sort of becoming a colleague within this field. This is my first opportunity to be at this particular program and it is phenomenal. I think the thing that I find to be most amazing is there's often conferences that are held for trainees and there's not as much interaction. And the people who have come here have so many questions. They're eager. You can feel the passion and fire inside them. It kind of re-motivates you, actually. I'm feeling kind of recharged and re-excited about being in, uh, a future endocrinologist. It gets you excited again to go back to the clinic and, and bring what you've learned forward to see if it works and helps people out. I don't think we get many opportunities to congregate and get together with our peers and our uh, mentors in the field. So this conference has already been a really great opportunity. We, we, we need to have this new generation trained well towards to be able to ultimately do quality research and then be able to translate that to clinical care for patients. To let us get the experience from uh, well-seasoned clinicians, to get that exposure early in training is just a great benefit for us. Some of the speakers we have had back each year because they are the superstars in the field. The program as it is now is so good, most endocrinologists in practice would get a lot out of coming to this program. It is that good. It's this great intersection of having all these leaders come around and really passing on this wonderful information to this extremely invested group who I think is gonna go back and now retrain everybody else. Many of these fellows are personally touched with type 1 diabetes like myself, so they understand it, but they don't get the kind of education, hands-on and otherwise, like they do here at this Endocrine Fellows Program. There's still quite a stigma. I personally see a lot of patients that think that it's such a burden and really struggle with it. And I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm saying that we can help to make that a little bit easier. Type 1 diabetes is definitely a, it's a whole different animal. It's not just giving insulin, it's helping them mentally and physically about taking care of the diabetes. Uh, so I think it's probably like nowhere else as far as, far as intensification of type 1 knowledge. Uh, it, it's an excellent opportunity, I think, for us to learn from, from some of the world experts on how to best care for people living with type 1. So I believe that this, this conference really hit the nail there on the new updates on things and it's, it's very comprehensive, I think, especially for those who are still in training. This program honestly was much better than I'd expected. It was amazing how we covered diabetes from top to bottom. I felt like, so I felt like it was a good overview um, of a lot of different diabetes, just education, psychosocial aspects of it um, that I feel like we get exposed to slowly, but this is just a great overview of everything in one go. It submerges us in type 1 diabetes. The fact that I'm getting about 72 hours of intense discussion and information is really important because it's just, it's providing me with a wealth of knowledge that I can then take back to my patients. So the Endocrine Society here with this Type 1 program has stepped forward to try to meet the needs of an audience that needs to understand more about this aspect of endocrine practice that's going to come up in their day-to-day -day lives when they enter the practice of endocrinology. Mm -hmm.